Elon Musk explains why NASA's DART mission will fail to defend Earth. On September 26, 2022, a spaceship was successfully crashed into the asteroid Dimorphos as part of the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, mission. Using the Kinetic Impactor technology, NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Assess mission was created to test the effectiveness of this form of asteroid deflection for planetary defense. NASA claims that DART hit the tiny asteroid Dimorphos in an attempt to slightly alter the orbital speed of the moonlet. Dimorphos does not represent a threat to Earth, but the ambitious mission simulates the actions NASA scientists would take in the event that an asteroid was heading in our direction. It happened at 7.14 in the evening of September 26, 2022. But what if NASA's DART spacecraft misses the asteroid? And what if there's a bigger asteroid to come? Elon Musk explains why NASA's DART mission will fail to defend the Earth. Hello everyone and welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos. And let's get started. At 10.20 in the evening, the DART mission was launched. Using a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the launch will take place at a local time of November 23, 2021 from Space Launch Complex 4 at the Californian Vandenberg Space Force Base. The mission serves as an example of the extensive amount of international cooperation required for such a challenging task. Though the DART mission is overseen by the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, scientists and engineers from all across the world have learned to team together to contribute. DART co-investigator Ellen Howell told Space.com, We've worked really closely with our European colleagues and colleagues all over the world. Howell is a senior research scientist at the University of Arizona Lunar and Planetary Laboratory. Although DART is a test, she added, a comparable degree of global cooperation would be crucial in the event of a real effect. Although the threat from asteroid strikes is minimal, it's still a concern, and we should be ready for it. The devastating impacts an impact can have on life on Earth are easily seen by studying prior impact events, such as the enormous Chicxulub asteroid impact that is thought to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. According to NASA scientists, there is a small but present possibility of a catastrophic asteroid collision on Earth. With a width of up to 500 feet, the largest asteroids that potentially threaten the Earth have been discovered by NASA in roughly 40% of cases, and the agency is constantly searching the skies for others. The Near-Earth Object Surveyor, a brand new space telescope Sentinel being developed by NASA, is intended to find potentially dangerous asteroids around the solar system. Up until 2026, that mission might fly. The initial phase of planetary defense involves early detection of near-Earth asteroids. There are more than 19,000 newly detected near-Earth asteroids as of the beginning of 2019, according to NASA, with about 30 new ones being discovered every week. Didymos, which in Greek means twin, is the name of the binary asteroid system that DART was designed to track. The system consists of the moon Dimorphos, which is 525 feet in diameter, and the near-Earth asteroid Didymos, which is about 0.48 miles across. DART intentionally hit the moonlit Dimorphos at a speed of 4.1 miles per hour. That is a staggering 14,760 miles per hour. Nancy Chabot, a planetary scientist from the JHU APL, discussed the mission plan with How It Works, a sister publication of Space.com. Targeting a small asteroid in space at a fast rate of speed when that asteroid has never been photographed by a spacecraft before is one of the mission's key technological hurdles, according to Chabot. We know from previous asteroids that have been investigated that they have a range of forms, internal structures, surface features, and strengths, and these traits will influence how much the asteroid Dimorphos is deflected in its orbit around Didymos. The impact speed should affect the moonlet's orbital speed by a little percentage, which should be sufficient to change its orbital period by several minutes. In order to determine whether the mission was successful, NASA says that the shift in Dimorphos' orbit around Didymos will be monitored and analyzed by telescopes on Earth. Spacecraft DART was simple. The main vehicle, which had a box form, had dimensions of about 3.9 by 4.3 by 4.3 feet, or about the size of a refrigerator according to the JHU APL. When fully extended, each of the two substantial solar arrays was 27.9 feet in length. Only one instrument, the Didymos Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation, was on board the DART spacecraft. It turns out that you don't need to bring anything with you if your main objective is to collide with an asteroid. 
The rollout solar arrays, or ROSA, were deployed by the DART spacecraft after it was launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 to provide it with electricity throughout its trip to Didymos. According to NASA, the ROSA arrays were put through their paces by scientists on the International Space Station in June 2017 and were found to be capable of supplying the necessary power to support DART's electric propulsion system. The DART spacecraft also utilized the next-generation, fuel-efficient NASA Evolutional Xenon Thruster Commercial, or NEXT-C, solar electric propulsion system as part of its in-space propulsion. The JHUAPL claims that DART was directed to its target Dimorphos by highly developed autonomous navigation software. Finding a target that is 6 million miles from Earth and 525 feet in diameter is no small task. In order to send the DART spacecraft to the smaller body Dimorphos, the navigation software was created to recognize and discriminate between Didymos and Dimorphos. An onboard high-resolution camera called Draco assisted in guiding the DART mission as it approached its target and took measurements of the asteroid, including the size and shape of Dimorphos. Based on the LORI camera from NASA's New Horizons mission, Draco was developed. On September 26th at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Time, DART hit Dimorphos successfully in what the American Space Agency has dubbed the first planetary defense test ever. At the JHU APL DART Mission Control Center, as the spacecraft rushed towards its demise, there was a mixture of serenity and eagerness despite the on-target collision. Engineers didn't need to test any of the 21 possible backup plans they had set up in case the crash didn't go as planned, because everything went according to plan. A large portion of DART's final four hours was automated, with the navigation system of the spacecraft locking onto Dimorphos in the penultimate hour of its approach. Every second up to the moment of the spacecraft colliding with the asteroid, DART's main camera sent a picture to Earth. Stunning details of Didymos and Dimorphos were revealed in photographs taken by the spacecraft during the closing minutes of DART. There was nothing like the moonlit. It was discovered by DART to be an unfamiliar new world, an egg-shaped asteroid with rocky topography. The HERA mission is a post-impact inquiry being planned by the European Space Agency. The Didymos binary system will be reached by the spacecraft in December 2026, according to the mission website, and the spacecraft is scheduled to launch October 2024. Two CubeSats will join the ESA HERA spacecraft in orbit. They'll survey Didymos and Dimorphos together, taking close attention to the crater left by DART's impact with Dimorphos. According to the JHUAPL, another goal of the HERA mission is to figure out the exact mass of Dimorphos. Despite the fact that DART and HERA are two separate missions with autonomous designs and operations, working together, they will improve our knowledge of planetary defense technology. A worldwide partnership called ADA, which is Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment, includes team members from both missions. According to Chabot, DART is only a small portion of a wider planetary defense plane that is coordinated by NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. But how will we know if DART worked? Elon Musk asked. Well, according to Musk, because of the fundamental physical rules of conservation of energy and momentum, DART's impact on Dimorphos was certain to alter the asteroid's trajectory. Newton's law of motion will have been proven false if its orbit around Didymos doesn't shift at all following the hit. Newton will still hold true after DART. If Dimorphos is solid and DART only creates a small crater, the transformation will proceed according to the rules of a Physics 101 problem, two things hitting and sticking together. The asteroid's angular momentum will be diminished by DART, which is traveling in the opposite direction as Dimorphos. As a result, it will approach Didymos and accelerate, Musk explained. And that will end today's episode. Hey, we thank you so much for watching, and we certainly hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please click on the like button, leave us a comment, and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more. And thanks for watching.